The lobby of the Superior Court is littered with news photographers and their equipment, rendered helpless by the order barring them from the courtroom. That's why at least 10 artists line the courtroom benches, squinting and sketching and erasing. They'll make hundreds of drawings each week in a trial like this. Howard Brody, for instance, who's been drawing since 1932. He remembers he made 500 drawings during the Chicago 7 trial. Most are now in the Library of Congress. He's drawn the Watergate hearings, Jack Ruby's trial, Me Lai, and says the need for drawing quickly is an artistic plus. Too many artists, at least I can speak for myself, often wish to overdevelop their drawings, etc. But this does have the sense of immediacy, which is the, I think, the character and the spirit of a courtroom sketch. To Brody, Wayne Williams is a challenge to portray, but not to fellow artist Bill Lignante. I don't find him difficult. He's, uh, uh, Angela Davis was difficult, Patty Hearst was difficult, but Wayne Williams is not difficult. He's uh, got a pretty easy face. Lignanti perfects his sketches in ABC's cramped van. This complicated one of the courtroom will take six to eight hours. Usually, though, he's much faster. It, it just gets recorded in your brain and the, the pencil just carries out the action. WSB's Pam Wedding also finds Williams a challenge to draw and says she's also challenged by reporters who want a day's worth of drawings right away. For Wedding, though, there's one other problem. It's so interesting. Sometimes I forget to draw. I get so caught up in the testimony. That's bad. <laughs> so for those watching TV, at least, the Williams trial will come into focus not through an expensive lens, but through pens and pencils and crayons. Ernie?